Hello everyone, it's me Chevy from Inic Tutorials. Today, in this video, I'll show you how to get plotting camera on any Android smartphones or tablets. So, without any further more delay, let's begin. So, right now you can see my Android home screen. So, firstly, what you need to do is just open the Play Store, and in the Play Store, just search for one application name as plotting camera. And on the first list, you will see the application plotting camera. Just tap on it. Now just tap on install to install this application. So once the installation is done, just tap on open. Now it will ask you some permissions. Just click on continue. Click on OK. Now you will see the options available inside this applications. So the first one is a start camera. Second one is a stop camera. And the third one is the start or stop notification. You can enable the notification also if you want. And you can see here list photos. Click here list your photos. If you select delete photos, you can list the deleted photos any anymore. And below you can select the Raspberry camera, whichever you want to use. So if you have uh, multiple lenses on your rear camera, then you can select different camera. So the first camera is the main camera lens, and uh, camera one is the front camera lens and if you have a wide angle lens or ultra wide or a macro lens then it might show more camera he option here so in my case i have a uh, three different lenses on my rear side of my smartphone so it's showing total four including the front camera so the front camera in my case is cam one and the uh, main back camera is the cam zero so you can sense depending upon your needs and the uh, photo resolutions you can just select depending upon what type of photo resolution resolutions you want to select you can select depending upon your needs and below you can see the preview size you can increase or decrease the preview size auto rotate you can enable it keep screen on only take photo if different if you want to take only the different photo then you can just enable this option and you can see minimum differences you can select the output set folder locations if you don't want to save the recorded or the captured photo under this default folder then you can just tap on it and you can change the folder locations and below it is a enable automatic mode photo interval and tons more options so i'm not gonna make you bored by showing each and every option so tons of options you can check out by yourself so in order to use this application what you need to do is just tap on the start camera option now you can see a small plotting window so let me move it so you can see here so i can just drag it anywhere on the screen so it's a plotting so how to take a photo or how to capture a photo using this camera application just tap once on this plotting window so you can see you can just drag it again anywhere if you feel like if you want to take multiple shots just click on it now it will automatically set so let us check now let us minimize this and let me click on stop camera now and let us go to the gallery now you can see here the capture photos is already being set inside the gallery applications so using this application named as floating camera you can get plotting camera on any Android smartphones or tablets very easily. So if you never known about this cool application, then you should definitely give it a try. So if you find this video tutorial useful, please click on the thumbs like button. And if you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button. And lastly, thanks for watching.